New in Photoshop CS3 is a long list of goodies. Trust me, this is a great and exciting release. It has a lot of new toys for all you geeks out there. Now the first thing you'll notice when you launch Photoshop CS3 is that it's much faster. It will launch quickly and you can get to work. The other thing we have here is a new interface. If you look around, you see we have these little gray areas. These are called docks. We can also have a toolbox or toolbar or tool panel, whatever they're going to call it these days, because, well, these things are no longer called palettes. They're called panels. So the interface is changing as far as the naming conventions in some cases as well. And these guys can be expanded and collapsed and all kinds of fun stuff to maximize your working area. And I'm going to talk about those and all the features I'm going to talk about right now in upcoming lessons. Another thing you'll notice is that there's something new. You can now open JPEG files within Camera Raw and use all those tools on your JPEG images. So you can use something like a fill light slider, a recovery slider, which is helpful to get back lost highlights, and tons more. You have a tool here called the Quick Select tool, and what this tool will do is kind of analyze the edges for you, and as you draw, it will automatically and smartly find the images or rather the parts of the image that you want to select. And this works pretty much based on the size of your brush. So the larger the brush, the more broad a pixel area it will select. So it's a really cool tool. And as you see there, I wasn't really even paying attention. I just simply moved my mouse around and look at this great selection and created already of uh, King Tut. Awesome. Let me deselect that. So that's a tool we're going to talk about. In uh, harmony with that tool, we have something called Refine Edge. And with every selection tool you use, this button will light up. So if I go ahead and draw a selection, the Refine Edge button opens up. And I'm just going to just show you very quickly. We can choose how we refine that edge to get exactly what we want. And once again, these are just teasers, folks. I don't want to give you everything now because then you won't look at the rest of the tutorial. That's right. I'm teasing you at the moment with the goodness of Photoshop CS3. We also have a new way to print. Everything is located in one giant dialog box. Instead of you having to go here for a preview or there for this setting, everything is in one location, which is very handy. There's also a new black and white conversion tool, which helps you to easily and interactively create a black and white image from a color image. It's very, very cool. There are tons of sliders and you can even use this tool in an adjustment layer. We also have a new way to work with curves because we now have a histogram in there as well as some clipping warnings. Bridge is much faster and now allows you to import images directly from your digital camera, which is awesome. You can also see that there's a photographer's loop in there and it's a digital version of that so you can really zoom in on the details that you want to see in your image. There are now smart filters. That's right, you heard me, smart filters. So now you can turn filters on, off. You can always go back and adjust their settings without destroying your image. Trust me, it's a great feature. It's awesome. I love it. We also have a new way of cloning things with the clone source panel. And what you can do is have an easier time finding the regions that you want to clone and seeing the regions that you're going to clone. So it's really cool. It's even easier now to clone people, trees, and farm animals. Just don't tell the government because cloning is still illegal. Now, if you go to a picnic or a barbecue and you take a couple of screenshots of your family and you have an Uncle Charlie who keeps moving around, closing his eyes, blinking, waving at people, you can now fix that with a new feature which is called Auto Align, which is very handy. So what you could do is find that part of the image or rather one of the images where Charlie is kind of looking at us and one where he's not looking at us and kind of blend it together to fix it. We also have the ability to auto blend layers. So if you have like a couple of images that are overlapping, Photoshop will blend those pixels so they look seamless. So it's a lot of new stuff in Photoshop CS3. We're going to talk about them. So get ready, get your notebook out, get ready to practice because Photoshop is a whole new thing.